Taking a look here at this Broncos-Bills matchup in the AFC. Boy, the Broncos uh, coming off a game in which their run defense stepped up big against Ezekiel Elliott. Just nine yards on eight carries. But they got another challenge this week with Shady McCoy. Coach. Yeah, and it's a different challenge. Obviously, the physicality of the Dallas Cowboys is different when you're talking about the Buffalo Bills. Shady McCoy, his ability with those jump cuts to yeah. get the outside and out of the backfield. Now, Carolina did a heck of a job keeping him at 12 carries and 9 yards. Obviously, they can't let him go off like he did the week before with 22 carries over 100 yards. So, obviously, Denver, and they're athletic enough to kind of keep up with this style of play, but they cannot let him get started. It's going to be a long day in Buffalo. Looking forward to watching that offensive line against the Broncos. Richie Incognito has been playing really well. But for Denver, now all of a sudden they lose Garrett Bowles, their left tackle. So they've got a little musical chairs going on in the old line position. Trevor Simeon, he's got some really good targets. Emmanuel Sanders and Demarius Thomas. I just think that they're they're going to get even better. And I, I think against this Bills secondary, they're going to have their hands full. We've seen Trevor Simeon. I mean, he's dropping dimes right here in the red zone, the middle of the field. He's really accurate on the move. Uh, I really like what Trevor's doing with this offense. And as long as Demarius Thomas can be healthy and get back out there, uh, he's a big play threat waiting to happen. Career day for Simeon in week two. We'll look for more here. Broncos and Bills from New Era Field, a 1 p.m. Eastern time kick.